So if you remember, I am helping to recruit for a study that is looking at quality of life in African Americans with kidney disease. I have received quite a bit of hate mail from people wondering why in the world I'm not studying white people who have kidney disease. So I wanted to spin this into a quick educational opportunity. It's important to study African Americans and kidney disease specifically because they are about three times as likely to progress to the need of kidney failure, so needing to have a kidney transplant or need to start dialysis. You can see that the prevalence of chronic kidney disease or chronic renal insufficiency is about the same in whites and blacks Americans. However, when you look to see who progresses, whose disease gets worse so bad that they need dialysis or transplant, the prevalence of that end-stage renal failure is significantly higher in every year here in blacks versus whites. Even when we break it down here by age, gender, and diabetes status, blacks are significantly more likely to progress to end-stage renal disease. Why is this the case? Likely because black Americans are much more likely to have both diabetes and hypertension, the two leading causes of chronic kidney disease in this country. Access to healthcare, medications, money, and health literacy are all imperative to prevent these two super common chronic conditions. And helping to control these conditions is exactly what we can do to help slow the progression of chronic kidney disease to the point of where we need dialysis or transplant. Why are black Americans so much more likely to have high blood pressure and diabetes in the first place? This is obviously multifactorial, but the systemic racism that is built into our police, criminal justice, schooling, employment, and housing systems all directly impact our social determinants of health. Things such as economic stability, the neighborhood or community someone lives in, the foods they have access to, the education that they receive, and the healthcare system they have access to, all of these things have a massively underappreciated role on chronic disease. Going back to research for a second, we need to focus on African Americans in research because they have been historically underrepresented in research in nearly every single disease state, especially for chronic kidney disease when you consider that African Americans are three times more likely to progress to end-stage renal failure. It is imperative that our data reflects the actual people that we're trying to help.